Hi guys, the following review was recorded on Christmas Eve Eve and I had planned on having it up before Christmas but things got Christmas busy and I didn't get a chance to edit it until after Christmas. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Um, but you guys know mine, right? So here's my review of The Hobbit. It's Christmas Eve Eve and I wanted to record my review of The Hobbit but I also have a ton of presents that I need to wrap still so I thought that it would be fun and festive to do both at the same time. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Either way, it's happening. So let's talk The Hobbit. So I haven't read Lord of the Rings, something that I try not to broadcast to the world, but here I am saying it on YouTube. Um, so this was my first experience with Tolkien's writing, and I really, really liked it. He's a fantastic storyteller, and the way he narrates is very self-aware. For example, the narrator will be in the middle of talking about the storyline, and then he will say, well, this will all end well in the end, but you'll have to wait for that. I'm not sure if Lord of the Rings is like that, but I thought it was perfect for The Hobbit because I felt like as I was reading, there was like an old man narrating this, narrating the story to me. Is that weird? I don't know. That's how I felt. My complaint about Tolkien's writing, though, is that he tends to go on and on when he describes things. Um, this is not to say that he doesn't write well. This is just me saying that I don't do very well in terms of descriptions. Like, when an author starts describing things at length, I'll just start to zone out, really, and I'll lose track of what's happening. <laughs> I really wish I appreciated descriptions more, but sometimes they just drag on and I can't deal with them. Also because the books that he writes are about, you know, journeys, kind of quests, um, there's a lot of traveling involved, and he's very realistic about travel, I think. He will not just talk about the exciting parts of travel, he'll talk about the horrible, miserable parts of travel, which I really, really appreciate. Like, he'll be talking about all these adventures, and then after the exciting adventure is over, he will say, oh, but Bilbo just wishes he was home again. Although I do complain um, about the fact that you don't really get to know a whole lot about the dwarves. Most of them are barely even mentioned after the introduction in the beginning. And I feel like from the book, I didn't really sympathize with them at all, which is very, very different from the movie, because the movie does such a great job of conveying the dwarves' goal and perspective. And I don't think I got that um, from the book. In the movie, the dwarves story was so well done. I love all the extra background information that were given in the movie. All the things that they added were all fantastic. It made the movie three hours long, but you don't really notice. At least not the first time that you watch it. I watched it twice, and the second time I did feel those three hours a little bit, but it was still really good. J.R.R. Tolkien is a fantastic storyteller, and he created such an amazing, amazing world. But the thing is, if I hadn't seen the Lord of the Rings movies before I read The Hobbit, I don't think I would have thought that the world was that amazing. Maybe I just have a terrible imagination, but to be honest, if I had read the books before I saw any of the movies, I don't think that I would like the books as much, just because I wouldn't be able to imagine the world that he created in that scale. I just wouldn't think of New Zealand. I'm just saying that Peter Jackson's movies take Tolkien's amazing stories and just bring them to a whole new level. The movie, I can't praise it enough, it was amazing. The acting was so good. Cinematography was great as usual. The soundtrack was a masterpiece. I love that they kept the dwarf songs in the movie. That was so great. A lot of people complain that the first part of the movie is kind of boring, but I thought it was the best part, the way they introduce everyone and they tell the backstory. Loved it. Loved it. I loved seeing the dwarves interact with each other and like I said, I just felt for them a lot more watching the movie than reading the book. Seeing all the dwarves all together was so stinking delightful. I love Thorin. I love Balin. I love Beaufort. Killy and Feely are so freaking cute. And I loved seeing them interact with Bilbo. It kind of made me like them more because in the books, they kind of come across as jerks a little bit. Oh, and did I mention that Martin Freeman is perfect? Just absolute perfection. Couldn't have picked anyone better to play Bilbo. He was just so good. 
My favorite chapter in the book was probably chapter 5, the famous chapter 5, where Bilbo meets someone very important and acquires something very important. You know what I'm talking about, right? That chapter was amazing in the book and it was perfect in the movie. Gollum is even better than before. Also, it was so great to see the Shire again. The Shire to me is like the equivalent of Hogwarts. It just gives me warm, fuzzy feelings. Another scene in the movie that was perfect was the unexpected party. Wonderfully done. So good. The feast that they had on that table was the best thing I've ever seen. I'm so excited to see the rest of the movies and to reread The Hobbit at some point. I just love The Hobbit and all forms of media and I highly recommend consuming it in all forms. Read the book, watch the movie, listen to the soundtrack over and over again because it's perfect. Just do all of that because I will be doing the same. On the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree.